Hi there, fellow YouTubers. Today, for the first time ever on the Fully Charged Show, we're going to do some unboxing. And what we're unboxing is a portable wind turbine. And what we're going to try and find out is, can a wind turbine charge a car? Love everything electric? Join us live in Canada this September, the South in October, and Australia and London in 2025. So I'm on my way up a hill uh, to uh, try out the Kite X, which is what's in this box. It's a small portable wind turbine. I think it might be more portable if you had a slightly bigger vehicle than I've got. But nonetheless, I'm really excited to unbox it. I don't quite know how big it is. We're unboxing it at the top of the hill. Now this hill is always windy. I walk on it regularly. 364 days a year, really windy, but not today. Right, let's get this big baby out. Oh my God. Down there. So this is the Kite X. Now I think the difference is, you know, you can go online and order a wind turbine that you put on your house, a, little, a small wind turbine, but that's literally the turbine. This thing is everything you need. It's all the equipment you need to capture the power from the wind and put it into whatever you need to do with it. So what this is ideally for is, you know, you're going camping somewhere really remote where you've got no power. Interestingly, quite a lot of people in Germany use them to help run their homes, which is not advised by Kitex. It's not meant to be a permanent fixture. So theoretically, it's quite easy to put up, but it is quite complicated too, because it is a proper wind turbine with blades that turn. Those are the, the blades are there in that, in that uh, container there. And so it can be uh, adjusted to, to fit with the wind and it's quite clever. And it requires quite a lot of manual dexterity, which we are now going to explore my abilities in that area. Look at this beautiful fertile soil here. <laughs> oh, that's enough. Oh yes. Good morning, Vicar. Yeah, that's not going to come out. I hope he's not spraying toxic chemicals. <laughs> oh, it's going in. Carabiners. Locked and loaded. So once you put it up, if you use the wind catcher for, for 24 hours uh, with an average wind speed of six meters per second, which is 30 miles an hour, which is like a breeze you can feel, but not a howling hurricane, it will have produced 4,500 watt hours of electricity. And that is equal to the usage of charging a phone 409 times. So you could charge 409 phones with it. Portable fridge you can run for 73 hours. You can run a TV for 36 hours and you can use a hairdryer, which as you know, I need to use all the time for 2.5 hours. That's just about enough time to dry my thick and luscious locks. Which end is which? Is that the bottom? That's, middle, that's the middle there. Yeah. Oh, he's attached all the strings first. Right. Right, let's get these stressed up. I'm gonna do it like that. That goes in there, yes! Result. Okay. <laughs> yes! Oh my God, it looks like a kite. It does, Kite X. Kite X? It's like a kite. It's just gonna get that there. 
with the cable there. That's beautiful. I've got to tighten up all the guidelines, I think, haven't we? Yeah, so just to make sure it's working. So this is the tower. Uh, and we've, it's not fully stressed up yet, but it's very, very solid. It's amazing because it's so light. This weighs nothing at all. Really, really light. And these things are structured beautifully. Uh, so what we've got to do now is lower it and put the actual nacelle or the generator on the top and the blades. Oh no, we're going to have to loosen these. Yeah. That's down now. So at this stage of the assembly, the instructions advise you to get an assistant to someone to help because you, well, obviously what we really need is someone really tall, which thankfully we've got on the fully charged team. So, well, oh, hi Imogen. Hello. I brought a glamorous assistant as There's well. a glamorous assistant. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we're putting this wind turbine together. Look, I mean, this is really cool, bit of engineering. Yeah, look at that. I know. Although, I mean, how heavy is it? I'm quite curious Well, to know. it's not hugely... I mean, the rest of it is really light. That's got a bit more Ooh, weight Oh, OK, it. yeah, all right. That's, that's the chunky that, that's, bit. You would have a bit of a challenge on your own. Yeah, well, I could do it. <laughs> but can you help? I don't know if Jack could, so it's good that, you know, we're yes, here. Yes, exactly, yeah. So uh, this goes on. There's a way. I saw it earlier on. I had it completely worked out. Where's the thing? Oh, there. OK. So that goes on. That has to be threaded through. That's the wire. Hey, look. That, 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 I mean, that feels ex extraordinarily simple. Well, yeah, I hope so. I think, oh, I see. Yeah, that goes right onto there. There. Oh. oh. <laughs> and then the blades go on here. That's, this is where the blades oh. go. And that goes into there. Oh, my God, this is quite easy. It's I quite... thought this was going to be the hardest bit. That's actually... Well, I mean, you didn't well... need my help, actually. I, I just watched and did this. <laughs> no, but the moral support <laughs> is really critical. Woo! <laughs> we both bumped into something. <laughs> the fact that any of it exists is a miracle. This is like the big reveal. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh nice. Oh, Very they're quite light. big, aren't they? Yeah, yes. they're so light, aren't they? Amazing. God. So I think we have to untangle a lot of string. Oh my God. Yeah, the yeah this is very um, ah, good. D of E, isn't it? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. I mean, are they all right? Because I'm a bit... Oh, I see. Ah! Oh. They're, they're flexy. <laughs> that's there good. There you go. So now it's the string that's going to be the really complicated bit. Which bits of string go okay. where? Do you think that's it? They like that Ooh. and that. Yeah, I reckon. So, hang on. Oh, yeah, hang on a second. Good. Why does this confuse me? So, two hang fingers on. out there. Is that right? No, make, that's... Oh. Make that into a T. So obviously this will be controlled by software, I think you said. Yeah. But look at that! Twist the blade. That is evidence that we've uh, We've done it right! We've done it right! <laughs> oh. Yes! <laughs> okay, ready? <sighs> now is this Is it in the hole? Not quite. Because we've got to also get the cable. No! We're going to get the cable of the dad. Are you all right? Just yep. for a moment. I'll well, hook this on. I reckon we might need a second round of. Uh, yeah, I would need a lot more yeah. adjusting. Wouldn't it? Well. Oh! It's up. We're not holding it. So we've hit a bit of we've hit a bit of a deadlock, and it's kind of our fault. Uh, basically, just to put, very briefly to push the blades into a point into the right angle so they catch the wind and start turning, you need a software connection which goes up to the box at the top there, and that's what controls it. And it's really that is really good when you see it working. It's amazing. But you do need an Android phone, which is a critical bit of information that we didn't look at until we got to that page in the instructions. Yeah. Uh, our crew all have iPhones. You rang a neighbour. 
but we're filming a windmill up here and we and and we've just discovered now that there's uh, five of us here we all have iPhones and it only works with Android so we're really screwed <laughs> Here on the Everything Electric show, we are very lucky to get first glimpses of various new products. Kitex have since made a whole load of improvements and modifications, but most importantly, it will be assembled by erudite and talented individuals such as yourselves, lovely viewers, unlike our Motley crew. So, pausing for now, yeah. to be continued. Exactly. We will get this baby working. I wish they had a bigger, brighter screen on that. I mean, I basically can't see what that screen says. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So, what's happened is, Kate, I, I, I started putting the, the, the thing, it's quite hard to put up on your own. Katie came, she helped. We've sorted out, so we've, we've got it up, it's running, it's all wired up the right way. We've got the software working, it is actually generating power that's actually going into the battery pack. So that is a massive step forward. So we're now gonna test out and see if it works. Please. <laughs> So we finally got it going. It took a little bit of time, I'm not going to lie. Um, but what is happening now is when the turbine is spinning at a decent rate, we're getting power going into the battery, charging the battery. We've left it for a while to get it, give it a little bit of power. Uh, and this is a camping battery. It's just really standard. But you need that power to make the turbine work in the first place. So to start with, the power goes from that battery pack up to the controls of the turbine. Once that's going, then you can turn the turbine on and it starts generating power. And we can see the input on the little screen on the on that power. So now we've got power in there. You're right, you're out in the middle of the boondocks, you want to do some some you want to keep your beer cool or your uh, hummus or your uh, <laughs> or anything. Not it doesn't have to be beer. Could be vegan vegetable dishes. So you plug in that. I love that. So that's come on. You can plug your phone in. They keep that charged up. That's charging, 29%. Or if you are a keen carpenter or wood, a quality woodworker, you can plug in your, your power tools. Because when you're camping with this stuff, you don't need to have a fire. You don't need to burn anything. I'm not talking about sawing up wood to burn stuff. I'm talking about making things out of wood, beautiful things. So you plug your power tool in, and then you get your bit of wood, and you might want to saw something up, So, oh, but not the phone. <laughs> And then uh, you just use your power tool. Beautiful, beautiful, stunning. The point is, you've got power where you need it. And not only that, you haven't just got power till the battery runs out. You've got power coming from the wind turbine. If it was in a better place, it's not in an ideal position here, but it is working and it is generating power, which is a great relief for all concerned, because the entire crew have been quite busy today trying to make it work. But the question is, the question that we set ourselves at the beginning of this, is can it charge a car? So, we're gonna try this. I haven't got high hopes for this, but we kind of know the reason why not. So the, the, all the all new electric cars, most of them still come with a domestic uh, plug. And so what I'm going to do is plug it in. And this would charge the car very slowly. This, this adds about, if you plug this in the wall in your kitchen, it would add about three or four miles range an hour. So it's not very fast. So that's on. Let's take the safety catch off that. Oh, yes. Sorry, keep that there. Ooh. 
Oh, it's trying. It's actually trying. Oh my God. Oh, oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> ah, so what it's doing, it's at the absolute limit of what that battery pack can put out. You're not really, strictly speaking, supposed to charge a car from that battery pack. But the fact is that went green for a moment then. So it can do it. So the point is, the big point is, and this is really important, there are battery packs, you can get camping battery packs that can charge a car. It says on the box, can charge a car. And they're much bigger than that and they're massively more expensive. But technically it is possible. And if that is possible and you were in a good a place where the, you weren't in the middle of a forest, which is effectively what we are here in my garden, then you'd have much more continuous wind power from the turbine that would top up the battery. And it would charge the car really slowly, but it would do it. So if you were camping for a week somewhere and you arrived there with a really low battery, you could put this up, plug it all in, and your battery, your car would charge. It's, it's not completely fake. It's just quite complicated. <sighs> but I am really thrilled that for a moment, we got a tiny bit of charge coming from a wind turbine, going into a battery and then going into the car. It's gone green again. It's gone green again. <laughs> that is amazing. And it stopped. So it's doing, it's, it's literally, this would be adding a mile every four hours or something like that. So it's, you cannot go, we're camping for one night and then we're going to drive another 500 miles. No, you're not. You're camping for 10 nights and you might drive to get to the next charger. Putting this uh, turbine together and making it work has been a bit of an adventure, or you could call it a challenge. But what they've done since is they've re uh, developed uh, an app that works on the iPhone that once with a little bit of faffing and a little bit of extra trouble, we managed to get everything to work. And when it worked, it was so delicious. When we first got some juice coming out of the wind turbine, going into the battery pack was amazing. And what they're hoping to do with what they've learnt what they call it in engineering is the learnings. They've got a lot of learnings about how to make this better and they are developing other forms of smaller, lightweight wind energy, which is really exciting. So we'll definitely keep in touch with them. Uh, that's all. Please do subscribe. Please tell your friends about the Fully Charged Show. Please tell them that we do bonkers experiments like this that we really shouldn't do, but we did anyway. And as always, if you have been, thank you for watching. <laughs>